I don't know. How much are you taking from my Your belly? Your knees are up? showing. Huh? Your knees are showing. I need what? Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Carlos, and this is Life with Carlos. Today, we're going to talk about loneliness and bitterness. So let me tell you a story, a personal story. Years back, I built a nice house and we also had a condo at the beach. We had a good life. My three children, each of them had a car. Two of them were in college and I had bought townhouses for each of them. And life was very good for me. I was doing well at work and then a position opened at my company at a higher level and I applied for it. I was not the chosen candidate although I knew that I could do the job better than anybody else. Somebody else was selected and that made me like I don't have anybody to support me in the company. So I began to feel lonely at work. That worked inside of me because I felt I should have been the one promoted, not the other person. And that loneliness turned into bitterness. Bitterness for the people I work with, bitterness towards my boss, towards everything. And the way I dealt with that at that time was I turned in my resignation. And I said, the heck with this. I'm going to show them. And I quit. That was the worst mistake I've made in my life. I had no plans for the future. I had no other job, nothing. And so I went home thinking, oh, I'm going to get another job soon. But that didn't happen. For two years, I did not have a job. I had an opportunity in Arkansas and I took it. My wife uh, was going to join me with the children and uh, she quit her job and now neither one of us had a job. The job in Arkansas didn't work out so we came back home and then I had to realize that my financial situation was in shambles. We were using our savings to live on and keep the kids in college. We were using credit cards to pay for bills and everything else. Then I realized that I needed to sell the house or rent it and move. So what we did is we rented the house and then we moved to the condo at, at the beach. During this time, it was this bitterness that came from the loneliness that was eating me up and yet I was trying to go through the movements of the family and raising the children and all that. And that lasted for two years. But while that was going on, I went to a retreat and I found Christ. And the way I found him is because he found me. Of course, he knew where I am all the time. But I had a dream. And in the dream, Jesus came to me asking me to join him to be part of him and I said no in the dream I said no no you don't want me I'm the center you want my wife my wife is the one that is worthy of your company I'm not there I woke up and I told my wife about the dream but things began to change after that. I went to the retreat. When I came back, I started reading the Bible and I um, asked a friend of mine if he could be my mentor to help me with a lot of questions I had about the Bible and about religion in general and about believing. And then shortly after that, I was uh, offered a job by the same company that I quit but this time in Mexico City for a three year as an expat. I accepted that and things got back on track for me financially. Uh, thank God for that. But things like do happen, like that do happen. Sorry, I mixed up a little bit. I'm a little emotional right now. 
But loneliness is something that we all have experienced. And some of us did a lot of that or were in that situation during 2020 when things were not going the way we thought they should be. So I have some things I want to share with you. Uh, excuse me for having to put on these horrible glasses and for reading, but if, if I don't read it, I might forget something important I want to tell you. But the first thing I want to tell you is something that Paul said in Philippians 4, 8. He said, Finally, brothers, whatever is true, whatever is noble, whatever is right, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is admirable, if anything is excellent or praiseworthy, think about such things. And this is when you get into a period of loneliness, those eight things is what you got to change your mind and think about and ask, is it true? Is it noble? Is it right? Is it pure? Is it lovely? Is it admirable? Is it of excellence? Is it praiseworthy? Is it beautiful? Is it respected? And this will help you to get out of being lonely. However, there are times when you get into a cycle of loneliness. When you feel lonely, you need to play it down and pray it up. Don't rehearse it over and over in your mind. If you do, the problem gets bigger and bigger and out of control. Refuse to become resentful because bitterness will eat you up. And those of you who have followed my videos, you know I did one on resentful. So you might want to take a look at that video too. So bitterness and loneliness go together because they become a cycle. You become lonely. Then you start feeling bad about it and you have a pity party. Then you become bitter. Your bitterness will even make you lonelier, which then makes you more bitter. Soon you are a hard-hearted, depressed person that nobody wants to get close to. Did you see how I pause saying hard-hearted? As a Puerto Rican, that's a very hard <laughs> word for me to pronounce but you understand what I mean <laughs> but let me go on and uh, give you some more to think about because nobody wants to be around a bitter person nobody wants to be around a cynic nobody wants to be around a person who is constantly angry you want to be around people that lift you up not bring you down and bitterness will only perpetuate your loneliness. Let me say that again. Bitterness will only perpetuate your loneliness. That is why when you go through a season of loneliness, like so many people did during COVID, you should minimize the hurt. Don't build a wall around your life. What do you do when you go through a season of loneliness? You need to make the most of your time. That means making the best of a bad situation. Resist the temptation to do nothing. Don't just sit and feel sorry for yourself. Don't lock yourself up and not be with other people. You need to get out and from inside pull the most that you can to say, I am going to change. I need to distract myself. I need to go out, I need to get involved, I need to volunteer, I need to pray, I need to read the Bible, I want to go shopping and break that cycle. So those are the things that I recommend. You need to feel comfortable and be productive. And there is another occasion in my life where I felt lonely and it became bitter. When we came back from Mexico, 
we went sh uh, house hunting, and I found this house that was a beautiful home, but it was way above my pay grade, but I still wanted my that house. My wife was saying, no, 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 this is not the house for us. But I didn't pay attention to her. I convinced her that I could do it financially. And I did that, and we bought the house, and it turned out that I couldn't do it. Again, was another mistake in my life. I was angry at myself because I made another mistake. But we sold the house and moved to another one that was more within our budget. But what I'm trying to tell you is that anytime you feel that loneliness is coming to you, you need to be proactive and think about the things that Paul says in Philippians. Whatever is true, whatever is noble, whatever is right, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, if anything is admirable or excellent, think about those things. Until the next time, this is Carlos. Thank you.